Wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so pleased and I'm so blessed that I have found you. That's, it's funny. It's, I, I, I randomly, you entered my life very randomly. <laughs> I was, you know, I was in a quite a, a, a difficult, challenging place at the beginning of COVID. And I was watching, you know how you suddenly, I don't know how it happens, but you end up watching YouTube videos or live videos yes. and you don't know how you, how it, you get into it through Facebook. And I, I watched one guy and I was like, okay, you're just a bit too scary and I'm, I'm going to move from <laughs> you. And then you appeared into your, um, the live thing that you do. I think it's this Pop the, the the on, Tuesday yeah. peapot thing. Yeah. And um, where you're bringing out cards and all your colleagues are bringing up cards. And it was just like, wow, I couldn't, I was fixed. <laughs> and, and I think it's so important right now because the energy is so heavy and the changes are so rapid. I mean, we're, we're forced into isolation and, you know, energetically that really talks about us being still enough, being in our space so that we can actually see what's going on and work our sole purpose out and you know and and again for practitioners like us it's stepping you know away from behind our businesses and actually showing up because let's face it a massage therapist an aromatherapist is an aromatherapist and a massage therapist what makes us stand out from the other person is who we are yeah. and that's why you know people you know your clients have been to you for years and you know i have clients that have been coming to me for 15 years and we we still work on that because the, it's that rapport that we have with them it's that connection we have um and it's what keeps them coming back yeah yeah and you know it's interesting that you say about you know sort of the time this time of covid and the lockdown it is amazing you know sort of not only energetically what's happening um worldwide but how we are absorbing that and how it's causing challenges with people not only with with for example with myself but you know clients people i know friends how it's this massive mirror was put right in front of you and it's like okay mm. you need to sit and stare at yourself for a little while and try and work out where it is that you want to be what it is that you want to become you know are you happy are you truly happy with your life and i don't mean happy as in you know contentment solid deep contentment and if you're not then you've got to change it and so many people i know are are going through this labor you know this this trajectory change it, it when i when i think about it i think of crystals and i think you know the challenges that crystal have to to really climb out you know, it's not this beautiful, very simple, you know, sprouting. It's, it's, it's hard, it's hot, it's difficult, it's challenging, it's painful. Um, but then the end result is beautiful. That's and that's, right. you know, that's what I have found with COVID is, is, is coming out a lot with people. Um, yeah. And it's learning to manage that, that heaviness. Yeah, and that is the spiritual path. Because when we dig through those layers, the scary bits come out, you know? And, and that's why it's dangerous when people just say, oh, we've just got to be positive. But no, sometimes we just need to sit down and lick our wounds and realize that it's okay, you know? It's, it's the universe telling us that we need to move in a different direction. It's yeah. not that we're wrong. It's just that we're evolving you know and we need to evolve with the times we need to evolve with how we are growing as well as a person and 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 i think this is a beautiful time and people are struggling i know my, my partner has struggled quite a bit because he's always been a corporate boy you know he worked for Qantas, and guess what a, the aviation industry no no one's flying so you know you've got to reinvent who you are and change because so many people their lives of their identities are based off what they do yeah but we are so much more than our occupation we are so much more than just what we do and the and, and all of these layers now are being brought up so that we can actually show ourselves really allow ourselves to shine 
in the brightest light possible. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, and it is so true. It is so, so true when you just said how, you know, sort of we are, and I think it's because of society and the way that we've been brought up those patterns that, you know, you have your job and you are your job and yeah. suddenly your job is taken away and you're like, Oh my God, who am I? <laughs> I know. And, I know. and it's actually trying to find that inner you, that true self. And once you find that true self, then you can step forward and say, okay, yeah, I am the aviation guy and potentially I could go back to that, but maybe I don't want to go back to that. Maybe I want to do something completely different. Correct. And it's having the courage to say, okay, I'm, I'm stepping into that unknown and I'm stepping into that abyss and I have faith that the universe has got my back. And that is really challenging, really, really challenging to so many people. It's, you know, I get goosebumps talking about it. I know, I, I I'm have, getting the same as well. You know, I have so many people that come to mind that I just think just step into it and have that, that inner belief that is, is the right time for you to just go, yep, I'm here. And I have no idea where this abyss is gonna take me. I have no idea. And I don't know how I'm going to make my money and I don't know how it's going to work, but I know it's going to be okay because the universe has got me. And it's that, that trust. I think everything that we do is based on that trust. And once we learn to trust that we can keep ourselves safe, things change, yes. doors open, you know, but we need to realize that. And trust is such a hard thing because we're, we're told from the minute we're born, religion tells you, do not trust. Yeah. You know, the devil will tempt you with the apple. Um, <laughs> you know, you, people you, do not talk to strangers. Do not do this. Do not do that. So we, we are, we are conditioned not to trust yeah. in others. And when we're, we're conditioned not to trust in ourselves. And so, you know, this is a habit that we need to break and we need to come back and realize that, we can take we can take care of ourselves. We can trust in the intuition. But you know what? It's really I mean, interesting what you're saying because if you consider COVID, we have had months and months and months of fear, and mm -hmm. months and months and months of don't trust, don't touch this, don't go out, don't do this, don't breathe, don't exhale, don't cough. You know, and it's suddenly this, this, this trust is really highlighted that it's being taken away from us. And mm -hmm. we've got to step into it and say, okay, yeah, I get what's happening. I may believe it, may not. I might have trust issues, but I need to take the step forward that this isn't about, it, it's kind of, we're missing the point, guys. This isn't about COVID. This isn't about mm -hmm. the pandemic. This isn't about what's happening right now this is about trusting the bigger picture it's about trusting that huge stepping forward and saying i have no idea what's going to happen i have no idea if my business is going to survive i have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow but i trust that i am in the right place at the right time and that's, that's it. exactly right that's, that's it. exactly right yeah. yeah. So, and that is the that is such a big thing, isn't it? I mean, we can talk about trust for a hundred years and you know, there will be layers and nuances of that that we will work tr through. And even now, you know, as people who are spiritual and are working on ourselves, those layers are coming out to show itself. Yeah. And it and we just need to realize that um nothing well not nothing but everything is just the way it's meant to be oh tell me about it it's it's, it's <laughs> i've i've had about two years of having that you know card come up um where i've sat down and I'm like i don't get it you know this is really challenging this is happening that's happening and i've just sat and, and really grounded myself and said, okay, you know, I give, literally, I give myself to you. 
this is me, these are my hands, and just put me in the right place because I haven't got a clue what's going on. (laughs) And it's, it's, yeah, it's truly believing in it. Andrew, thank you so much for chatting with me. I, I could literally chat all day, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure aware that it's, it's the end of your day, the beginning yeah. of mine. 